Hi everybody, thanks very much for checking out today's video. My name is Andy Carter. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the driver and the iron, the difference in setup and the difference in ball striking. So make sure you watch this video right to the very end because I've got drills, tips, and hopefully just some real proper game-changing information that can help you get better. First of all, every single golfer knows that there's a very different setup between the two clubs and it just comes straight up from the length of the golf club. But what we don't want to change too much is our relationship to the golf club. So I might set up with an eight iron here and my distance between the butt of the golf club and my body isn't too dissimilar to the distance between my butt and my driver and my body. So what I'm noticing straight away is that I'm a different distance from the golf ball but I'm the same distance from my golf club. And that is very, very key to point out because I do see some setups where golfers are in such a different position that how is the golf swing going to work as you know your golf swing works when you're in such a different position. So what we're gonna start with is the eight iron. And first of all, irons. I want to hit get down on the golf ball. I want to compress the ball. I've got, let's say, around about 38 degrees on my eight iron. I do not want the ball starting up at 38 degrees. I want the ball starting at high 20s, 28, 29 degrees. I want the ball to penetrate through the air because if there is that little bit of a breeze, I don't want the ball to be so affected so soon into the ball flight. So I want it to have a, a penetrating, powerful flight. And to do that, I've got to make sure I get the ball position correct. So. From a seven iron down to a wedge, I would often go into the center of my stance. But then from my six iron, five iron, four iron, three iron, I just go somewhere halfway between my driver and my eight iron. So I'm trying to just nudge it forward. But again, be careful on the three and the four iron that you don't go too far forward because that's unnecessary. Even with those clubs, we still want to hit and compress down on the golf ball for that penetrating ball flight. So eight iron to start with, I've got the ball position in my center. And the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna put the club in first. And one of the things I wanna try and do is keep my back straight. I wanna get a good, strong posture. So I'm gonna tilt from my hips and just let my arms drop. So I wanna feel like my hands are underneath my shoulders. That is a natural position to, for me to be in once I'm, once I'm into posture. That's not a natural position and that's not a natural position. I'm just letting my arms hang naturally from my shoulders. Then I'm going to use my feet equal distance either side of the golf ball. So now the ball position is in the center of my stance. That's a big key thing on setting. That's what's going to be very different to what we actually end up doing with the driver as well. So you can already see where the driver is. It's going to be on the inside of my left heel, whereas the A-time is for a start much closer to my body, but in the, on the middle of my feet. So as I take my setup, one of the things I wanna try and make sure I'm doing is I still get my full body rotation, but as I work back down into the golf ball, I want my hands to feel like they're on the inside of my left foot. So I want my hands to be forward of the golf ball. And this position's key because when we get to driver, my hands relative to my feet are gonna be in the exact same position as an A time as they are with a driver. The difference is the angle of attack and the ball position that creates a completely different type of golf shot. Okay, so as I come back, as I take my setup, I would always do this as well on the golf courses. Just kind of take, just kind of take your time, put the club in behind the golf ball, take the grip, let the arms hang naturally, equal distance either side of the golf ball. And as I do a little rehearsal, just get the feeling that the belt buckle is pointing to the target. The lead hand is in front of the golf ball more towards the left hand side but the shoulders and the chest are over the golf ball. That's where you get the separation in your lower body. That's where we start to use the body for more power and invariably hit the ball further. So we're gonna hit this one. We're gonna compress down on the golf ball. We should see a very small divot. There it is, lovely clunk down into the ground. Ball first, touch of divot afterwards and a nice balanced finished position. I'm not hitting the golf ball as hard as I possibly can. I'm not losing my, my um, my balance through the shot, I'm just hitting it nice and smooth, using the angles, using the resistance in my body, using the rotation to create as much power as possible. Right, so moving into the driver, and just remember a couple of those points that I mentioned about where the ball position is going to be. So I would set up the driver exactly the same. I put the driver head in behind the golf ball, get my grip, just allow my arms to hang naturally down from my shoulders, 
And this time, rather than going equal distance either side, I'm gonna take a very small step with my left and a bigger step with my right. Now, what that's done straight away is put the ball position on the inside of my left heel, but look what it's done to my head relative to the golf ball. Little step, big step. My head now is behind the golf ball. My spine angle is behind the golf ball, okay? As I come back into impact, I still want my hands to be pretty much down the line of my left foot, but look where my head and my spine angle is. My head is still behind the golf ball. I still want my lower body turning towards the target for power. Therefore, my spine angle is now tilted away from the target because my lower body has driven forwards. My head has stayed back, my upper body stayed back, my lower body's tilted forwards, and that's how we get the spine angle through impact. I see too many golfers trying to lean back. And what that tends to do is just kind of really open the club face up or push the hands out in this direction. And it's just a disaster from there, to be honest. So we want to try and get the feel the club goes in behind the ball, arms hang naturally from the shoulders, little step with the left, big step with the right. That's the position I want to work back into. My hand's going to stay in front of my left side as I come into impact and my lower body, my hips are gonna to turn to the target. And this is what's gonna help me hit up on the ball. So I'm not compressing it, I'm hitting up on the golf ball this time. Just like that. Little fadey one, little bit out of the heel. So again, ball striking is massively important for the quality of the outcome. If you hit a little bit of heel, it'll curve off. If you hit a little bit of toe, it'll curve off. But if you've got consistency of strike, and consistency of setup, you will hit the ball overall much more consistently. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this golf tip, please do hit that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me, enables me to bring you more content that can help your game. But you subscribing to me also makes a huge difference to me and my channel and gives me the opportunity to bring you more golf content and more pearls of wisdom, as I like to think of it. Guys, thanks for watching. See you again very soon.